Hey, Josh Bruni here again. Uh, this video I'm making at the request of Rogelio Alonso. Hopefully I pronounced that somewhat right. Um, he contacted me on my Facebook page, Terrace Balloon Man, on Facebook. If you haven't been there, just go there and hit like right now. And he wanted to know, how do you make the fancy tiger that you see on my avatar? Uh, you also see it on my business cards on my Facebook page. And uh, he asked me if I could uh, do a tutorial on this one. So that's what I'm going to do today. And this is how I make that one. Take an orange, 260. Something like that. Take a white. You don't got to put much in because you're not going to use a lot of it. Tie it together. Make the muzzle, however big you want it. Not too big. Maybe like three, four inches long each. Twist them together. Make a third one about the same size and roll it through. Take the orange and lay it across like that and lock it in here. Take the nozzle that's sticking out here and tuck it inside so it's hidden. You can break off the white now and uh, I use a strip of it for the belly. So if you break it off, tie the end and you can use that. For the belly, tie this off. That's going to be the face. Take a yellow round balloon, and uh, it's better if you use the Qualitex brand. The yellow is opaque and looks a lot better. This is a cheap brand. I can't even remember what it's called. And so the yellow is a little bit see-through, and uh, they don't look as good. Make it as big as you want the eyes to be. Twist it in half. And tuck it in here. This tiger doesn't really have a neck. You need to make this one kind of long. Now make now you're gonna make the cheeks and they're gonna be shorter than shorter than this length here. Now you make a bubble for the ear, the head, the other ear, the other cheek. And you gotta stuff that into there with the head on this side. and pinch twist the ear. There's the face. And like I said, there's no neck in this one, so you go right into making the legs. And there should be enough there to do the two front legs and maybe a uh, bubble uh, pinch twist. Two front legs, then leave enough to make a pinch twist to lock everything in on. Now we're going to make the body and attach it here. This is where you can take the leftover white, lock it into here. Make it however long you want the body to be. I like it not too long. Grab another orange for the body. Now, this is where you can decide how you want to make it. You can have three bubbles of three layers of orange here, one on each side and one on top, or you can make it with just two. Uh, it depends on how big you want the body of the tiger to be. So um, I'm making the one that's in the picture. 
So um, in that case, you, I'm having three. So you uh, attach it to the front. If you only wanted two layers, you attach it to the back. Same length as the white. Pinch twist. Attach the white to the pinch twist. Bring this back to the front and then back to the back again. Keep it, keep it soft here so that the head will sit in position. Make two back legs. Sometimes you end up with a really long tail, and I ask the kids if they want a really long tail or if they want a shorter one, and I'll just break it down to size. Now for the stripes, you can do just really fast ones going up and down. If someone asked for this in a setting where there's a lot of people, um, I'd be willing to make this, but I would make the stripes very simple. Um, I would not make the stripes like what's on my card there. I would make them just, uh, just the very fast ones where you just go up and down real quick and and you're done. But I'm going to show you how to make the stripes that are on that card. Um, just draw your eyes however you like to do them. Eyes are not my strong point. Make a nose. Make the whiskers. And for those kind of stripes what you do is you kind of draw triangles and then fill them in. And you alternate side to side. Kind of like that. Hopefully, hopefully you can see that. Hopefully my camera focuses. You just do that all through the body. Naturally, you don't want to use this design in a place where you need to be really fast. Try not to get your fingers in the ink. There you go, Rogelio. Hope you like it. Hope you understand it. If any of you have another request for me, leave it here in the comments on YouTube or over on my Facebook page. The links are in the description. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.